Hello and welcome to Cooking with Wang General. Today I will be showing you how to make steamed glutinous mung bean rice flour. Uh, serve over uh, creamy coconut sauce. Okay, so um, let's uh, get started. What you will need are, let's start with the banana leaves. You need banana leaves. You may get this from the Asian store at the frozen section. You need glutinous rice flour. This is the brand that I am using. You need three cups. And this is the cups that I am using, okay? You may buy this um, at any um, American store. And um, also, here's my measuring um, spoons. I don't want anybody to confuse the measuring cups. Yellow mung bean, I am using half a cup. You want to soak it in uh, water for four to five hours. Coconut milk, two and a half cups. Uh, dice, um, green onion, you want, you want the green parts only, half a cup. Sugar, six tablespoon. And salt, one teaspoon. There are two parts to this dessert, okay? One is filling, and I'm gonna show you exactly um, how to do the filling. And the other one is the, um, the dough, okay? And also you need some water. And um, banana leaves, you wanna cut in a circle like this. And I'm gonna show you how to cut it, okay? Next, I'm gonna show you how to cut uh, round banana leaves. Um, it's easy, okay? Find a round bowl or something round. Um, cut your banana leaves. Put the bowl on top and use your sharp knife. Cut around, okay? And I'm gonna show you just that. Next, you want to heat up your um, scallop or pans and um, add one and a half cup of water. And we're gonna boil the uh, yellow mung bean until soft. After eight minutes, um, you should see your uh, mung bean dried up. And um, go ahead and add half cup of coconut milk and sugar. Add three tablespoons of sugar and stir it well. At this time, over medium heat, you want to stir it, uh, the mung bean into a paste. Okay, and uh, when I'm done, I'm gonna show you. After one minute of stirring, add half teaspoon of salt and some 
green onion and stir it. After three minutes, after you um, put in sugar and coconut milk, okay, your um, beans should form into a piece like this, okay. When you can, um, okay, how do you know when your um, bean is ready? When you can pick the whole thing up with the spatula, just like this, okay. So um, it is ready, and go ahead and turn off your um, stove. And also, you know, before you, um, you know. Um, done make sure you taste it okay um, uh, make sure everything is okay with you if you need to add sugar add add salt add next when your mung bean is cooled down and you want to um, pre-roll your mung bean into a small side like this or the side that you um, preferred okay just scoop it up the amount that you want your um, 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 mung bean to roll squeeze it a little bit just roll it between your palm just like this okay. squeeze it roll it it's that simple okay so uh, continue until you're done with all the mung beans next I'm going to show you how to uh, mix the um, dough using cold water and you want to pour it a little bit at a time to mix Keep adding water and then you knead uh, the dough until um, you get uh, this uh, consistency, okay? So, let me show you some. Pick some up, roll it into a ball, and uh, spread out your dough like this, okay? Um, this is the consistency you want. If your dough start breaking on the side, that means the dough is too dry, so add a little bit of more, uh, a little bit more water. Okay, so um, again, I'm gonna show you one more time. Okay, after you're done mixing, check out the consistency of the dough. Pick some up, roll into a ball. Use your thumb to press down. Okay, your dough should like come out like this. As you can see, the side is not uh, breaking. If it's breaking, again, it's too dry. So add a little bit more water. I'm um, kneading it. Keep kneading until you get this uh, consistency, okay? So um, it is done and go ahead and cover up. And uh, next, I'm gonna show you how to wrap the uh, filling. Next, I'm gonna show you how to wrap the uh, filling using the um, dough, okay? Um, to get the right side of the dough, um, check this out. Okay, if the side of your filling is this big, and your dough should be double size. Okay, so just so remember that. Okay, double sided dough to your um, filling. So once you get the dough, the side of the dough, you want to roll it up into your palm and press it down. Just like this. Pick your filling, put right in the middle, and start wrapping. Close all the hole. Go ahead and roll it. After you roll it, press it down just a little bit and place it right in the middle of the um, banana leaves. Just like that, okay? 
repeat the process. So I'm gonna do one more. Pick the right side of the dough, throw it in your palm, press it with your thumb into a sheet. Fill in and go ahead and stop wrapping. Make sure you don't see any mung bean, okay? Roll it again. Press it down just a little bit. Place it on the banana leaves. Continue until you finish, okay? The dough and the uh, filling. So I'm gonna do another one. And um, with the banana leaves, you can use coconut oil or any oil, okay? To wash the uh, coconut leaves so when you steam it, it wouldn't stick to the leaves, okay? When, when, uh, when you take out, okay? So any oil, just dip it and wash it just like that. Here it is, okay. Next, you wanna have your steam pot and boil water. After you boil water, you steam, okay, the cake for six to seven minutes or until it's cooked. After seven minutes, go ahead and turn off your stove or continue to finish your arm. Um, cakes and um, let it cool down before serve okay next heat up your scallop or uh, pants and pour two cups of coconut milk three tablespoon of sugar and half teaspoon of salt and mix it bring it to a boil and turn off the heat Bring it to a boil and add green onion to it and stir it and turn off the heat. Here it is, the uh, steam glutinous rice flour mung bean served over creamy coconut milk, okay? Um, I have two uh, plates over here. You can dip it or you can soak it, um, whichever you uh, prefer um, to eat, okay? So I prefer soaked it than dipping it, okay? So here it is. Smell very, very delicious. And um, please uh, try to make this. And I'm pretty sure you will like it. Um, before I taste it, I just want to say thank you so much uh, for your support. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing foods and dessert. Thank you. It's time for me to taste. Excuse me. Wow, look at that. It's very creamy coconut. It's very soft. Mm, I love it. Um this um, dessert here um, was uh, requested by one of the uh, viewer 
so I'm not gonna mention um, his or her name. So um, here it is, brother, sister, aunt and uncle. You uh, request this, okay, and um, I hope you like it. Thank you.